Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Jillian, and today I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas Day One, and today is going to be a Christmas affordable Dollar Tree DIY. This time around, I am making a wreath made out of Christmas bulbs. Everything was purchased from my local Dollar Tree other than my hot glue gun and my hot glue sticks. This turned out so cute, although I did buy the wrong size wreath. Dollar Tree used to only have one size wreath and now they have two different sizes. They have like a really mini one, which is the one I purchased on accident. And then they also have a medium sized one. I meant to buy the medium sized one, but on accident I bought the smaller one. I did not realize that until I was completely done and I put it on my mirror and I realized how small it looked. It still looks super cute, but next time I just need to remember that now they have mini wreaths. So now I know for next season when I make a new wreath to go up on my mirror to make sure I get the correct size wreath. Regardless, like I said, it turned out super cute. So let's just jump right in to my Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. All right, guys, so for this Christmas DIY wreath, these are all the supplies that you are going to need to make it. You are going to need any size wire wreath or foam wreath, whichever one you choose. I decided to go with these mini ones. You're also going to need some bulbs. I got these bulbs from Dollar Tree and I bought two packs. Each pack comes with 15 and then you're also going to need a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. All right guys, so the first step into making this super easy and affordable mini wreath is just adding a little bit of your glue from your hot glue gun. You're going to add the glue where you would hang your ornament on the tree and then place it in between the wires and just hold it there for a few seconds until it sets. It honestly does not take that long to set, so just hold it there for maybe about five to seven seconds and then that should be good. And then you are just going to repeat the process all the way around until your wreath is completely full. So after I completed putting on my bulbs in my wreath, I realized that you can still see the wire and I did not want anyone to see that. So I decided to go in with these little acorns that I got from Dollar Tree as well. They are silver and gold glitter. And I decided to put them in any place that you could see the wire a lot, just to try to cover up those spots. You don't have to do this step if you have enough bulbs, but I did not have any more bulbs on hand. So I decided to go ahead and put these little acorns on them. Okay, and now I'm gonna take some of this ribbon, which was also purchased from Dollar Tree, and cut off a little piece. Then I will glue it together, and I just want this on the top of my wreath so I can be able to hang it in my living room. All 
All right, guys, so this is the end result of how my Christmas Dollar Tree wreath turned out. I definitely feel like the first time I made my wreath like this, the larger one with the foam one, it definitely came out a little better, but this one still came out cute. It is a very small mini one, and I put it in front of this mirror that I made in a DIY. So I think it looks really cute there. I just hung it there, and that is where I will keep it until the holidays are over. All right, guys, so that is going to end my affordable Dollar Tree Christmas bulb DIY wreath. I love the way it turned out, although, like I said, I did get a smaller size wreath. I still love the way it turned out. I also made a similar wreath to this one, except it was a larger one for my front door. Made that one last year. It is a little bit different. If you guys have not seen that DIY, you guys are interested to see how I made that door wreath one, I will leave the link down below for you guys to check out. Also, I want to let you guys know if you guys want to make it a little bit easier making this wreath, I have one suggestion. I had a little bit of trouble gluing down my little Christmas bulbs to the wire. I had to make sure that I put a lot of glue and I held it down for longer than what I usually do. When I made a previous wreath using flowers, it worked so well, but with the bulbs, it was a little bit harder. So. I would suggest getting some tinsel, wrapping that tinsel around your wired wreath and then gluing down your Christmas bulbs and it will work so much easier. Plus you will have like a tinsel background, which I think would look really pretty. So I think that would be an easier option if you guys don't use like a foam wreath. Um, if you use a foam wreath, then you don't have to use a tinsel, but I just want to let you guys know that little tip because I had to learn from my lessons and my lesson is next time I need to use something around the wreath to make it a little bit easier. But regardless, it did turn out super cute and I hope you guys really enjoyed today's first vlogmas, which was my Christmas DIY. It came out super cute even though I had a few complications, but it's okay. I still love the way it turned out and I think it looks really pretty on my mirror back there. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Christmas DIY. Please leave in the comments down below some vlogmas videos ideas that you guys would like me to do this month i am going to be doing vlogmas so i'm gonna try to get a video up every single day for the month of december well up until christmas i'm gonna try to get a video up every single day so leave some suggestions down below also let me know if you guys would like me to continue throwing out some more christmas diys i have a few more in mind but i'm not sure if you guys want me to do any more since i've already done quite a few just let me know in the comments down below and as always thank you so much for watching today's video i really do appreciate all of your support and if you have not already i would love for you to join my youtube family so hit that subscribe button subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos that i do plan on filming this month for vlogmas and i will see you guys next time bye all right guys so that is going to end my affordable dollar tree crease crease so now Dollar Tree. It was super affordable. I apologize for the background noise. This is probably my sixth time trying to film this intro and outro. I completely.